Okay, to edit, you obviously hit the button edit. And then if you go all the way to the end of all of your options, three from the end is something called definition. If you slide that bar all the way across, it really just helps crispen everything up. So that's before and that's after. Before, after. So definition is always a good one to do. Another one I always like to do is, let's go brilliance. We want to make it brighter. So I'm sliding the bar over to the right. Again, I can touch the image and it'll show me the original and then after, before, and after and we want good contrast we also want color so another thing i can do for shadows i can also brighten up the shadows now, i still want to have some darks right we want a combination of darks and lights again it's before after and then there's a couple color options not a lot but there's saturation vibrance warmth and tint so if you slide around and kind of play with tint it allows you to kind of put an overlay of a color, right? So here we have some greenish, that's before, right? After, go the other way, like that. Then there's warmth. If you want to remove the warmth or add more warmth, make it warmer, closer to red. And then vibrancy, so if you add or take away, it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. And then saturation. So if you saturate your colors, you're making them richer, right? If you go the opposite and you desaturate, that's going to black and white. So this is in the middle, I think I like that. It's got darks, it's got light, it's got middle gradations. So again, this is before, after. Let's see with the tinting. Maybe I want a little more greens in there. Okay, and the background, I'm just gonna be ignoring the background, just leaving it the white paper.